Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we show the use of the Discovery product. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining Discovery and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of Discovery. Finally, we summarize the contents of this Demoet. Let's begin by discussing what Discovery is and why it is important for our customers. Discovery is a product that reveals hidden correlations in enterprise data. Discovery uses that knowledge to help build data models to use for data virtualization, both within and across data sources. Discovery scans both data and metadata in heterogeneous data repositories and offers graphical tools to create data models based on discovered relationships. From these data models, TDV views can be automatically generated. Discovery is important to our customers for three reasons. First, it can be very helpful in complex data environments with many heterogeneous data sources, or when data must be federated across organizational boundaries that do not typically share information. Second, it can be useful in understanding data that is out of compliance with documentation or enterprise standards. Third, it can help organizations understand data from outside sources, such as new acquisitions or third-party data providers. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo that shows the use of discovery. Here is the business problem we illustrate in this demo. The majority of corporate sales data is held in a central relational database. However, over the years, the sales department has used a homegrown spreadsheet to augment the database for its own reporting purposes. This spreadsheet has grown to be somewhat complex with multiple tabs of information that relate back to the corporate data in various ways. Business analysts now need a federated view of these two data sources and our TDV developers are tasked with building this view. However, they need to understand the relationships between the data in the database and the spreadsheet. Before you begin this demo, you will need to import the CAR file for this demoette. The CAR file contains all of the resources used in the demo and may be found with the additional resources that accompany this demoette. The underlying physical data sources are hosted on a website and the data sources on the CAR file will point to them without any reconfiguration. Note that you must disconnect from the TIBCO VPN in order to access the SQL Server database used in this demo. If you have run this demo previously, you may want to delete any artifacts you created. We are ready to begin our demo. The first step is to prepare the data sources for discovery. We open the corporate data source and go to the Relationship Discovery tab. We click Scheduler, and all the tables on our sample corporate database are selected for indexing and relationship discovery when we hit Scan. We repeat this process for our departmental data source. Now we are ready to create models. We'll start by creating models for our individual data sources. This is not a required step, but it is often useful to understand individual data sources before moving on to combined models. We right-click and select New Model. We give the model a name and drag our corporate data source into the palette area. The model is created for us. Let's learn more about the relationships that have been discovered. We click on the relationship between person and employee to highlight it. This relationship involves columns that are named Business Entity ID on both tables, and Discovery estimates that the relationship is valid with a 94.4% degree of certainty. We can see the details that show why Discovery believes this relationship is valid. For example, the column names match, and both are index keys. The match percentage is only 43.5%, but that's because the person table contains many rows that are not employees. When we right click on the relationship line, we see a number of options. For example, now that we have reviewed the relationship details, we can mark the relationship as valid or invalid. 
If we wish, we can automatically create a view that joins tables on this relationship. The process for creating a model on the departmental data source is identical. Now we can augment the model by using both data sources. Click the Discovery button on the left side of Studio. The Discovery interface appears, and we click Scheduler. Now we select both data sources. Make sure that the From and To checkboxes are selected. We don't have to click Index because we did this when we discovered the relationships on the data sources. Click Scan to begin the model creation process. When the creation process is complete, the new model will appear. You may have to click the Refresh button on the toolbar. As the Cross Schema Diagram tab shows, both data sources are now present in the model. We can right-click the data sources to expand the view and show the individual tables and relationships. On the Diagram tab, we highlight a discovered relationship that crosses the data source boundary and view its details. This relationship was discovered even though the column names are different. Let's right-click the relationship and automatically create a view that uses it. We name the view and select a folder for it. The view is created for us in the modeler, and the join is present. When we execute the view, our data appears as a single virtual table. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. Discovery is a product that reveals hidden correlations in enterprise data. Discovery uses that knowledge to help build data models to use for data virtualization, both within and across data sources. Discovery scans both data and metadata in heterogeneous data repositories and offers graphical tools to create data models based on discovered relationships. From these data models, TDV views can be automatically generated. Discovery is important to our customers for three reasons. First, it can be very helpful in complex data environments with many heterogeneous data sources, or when data must be federated across organizational boundaries that do not typically share information. Second, it can be useful in understanding data that is out of compliance with documentation or enterprise standards. Third, it can help organizations understand data from outside sources, such as new acquisitions or third-party data providers. Thank you.